It's me, TFT, and yes, we are back. We've come to the city of Sunland to try out a very popular Indian restaurant called Baba G's, which simply means our dear father. The story behind this restaurant is that these guys, their father came here in 1963. He brought with him the special recipe of the chicken madras. And on the menu is called the 70s chicken madras. We're here to try it out. Have a look at the restaurant, guys. It looks fantastic. There's some fantastic decor along here. You've got pictures of his father in the corner there. It looks amazing. I like the color coordination as well. Plenty of seating, guys. We've got a bit of a dedication to his father here, telling me the story about the restaurant. Okay. Looks amazing, guys. Parking might be a bit of a problem, guys, but there's plenty of parking around the back, okay? It took us a while to find it, but we've managed to get, uh, get parked up. We're gonna be trying out this 70s chicken madras, and let's see whether or not we can get transported back into the 70s. Thank you very much, mate. So, that's only chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Thank you very much. Chicken madras. Chicken madras. 70s chicken madras. Now I think this is what we've come for. Yeah. The original, yeah. the original chicken madras. So Baba's tuk tuk for you here. Baba's tuk tuk. Pillow rice. Thank you. The garlic naan for you here. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Cheers. Thank you very much. This is it. The 1970s chicken madras. There's no gimmicks on this. You know, nowadays when you go to restaurants and tandoori's, they're adding all these spices and they're giving all this uh fusions this here is the original classic 1970s chicken madras the chicken tikka like you said this one here is dedicated to their father as well it's the baba's tuk tuk uh have a look at the menu guys i like the menu the menu is brilliant why there's no gimmicks you're gonna get your starters tandoor curries biryani that's it at the back they've got their logo anyway let's get stuck in let's make a start on the chicken tikka first have a look at that you're going to get your three pieces of chicken tikka decorated with the herbs. I'm sure that is going to be mint sauce. You've got an orange and you've got a bit of lettuce there. Guys, let's take a look at the chicken tikka. They are big pieces of chicken tikka. Oh, look at the juices falling off that. Easy as that. Wow. Whew. Let's take a bite of this. No. Color, like, so no coloring it's, yeah it's all Every, everything authentic it's everything like, is authentic see, see, i noticed that there's not much coloring stuff, on it yeah. this is all authentic stuff yeah. and it tastes authentic as yeah. well thank you very much fantastic that chicken tikka they're keeping in line with the 1970s their father came here in 63 he bought the original recipe and then with the foods that they're still using the same recipes i almost feel as though i've been transported back into the 70s and the 80s that chicken tikka is absolutely amazing. Let's move on swiftly to this here, which is the Baba Tuk Tuk. What's on this bad boy? You've got the succulent chicken tikka pieces tossed in an authentic bolti spice served in a puri taco. And it says on the menu, it's a tribute to their father. Yes. And automatically you can see that there's no flavorings on there. There's nothing artificial. Everything is original. A very, very refreshing change to a lot of the tandoori's we go to. This here is absolutely creme de la creme, guys. One more bite of that. Plenty of chicken there as well. They're not gonna skim you on the portion of the chicken. There's quite a lot of chicken in there. That's your starter, don't forget. Now, the reason I'm rushing along, guys, is because I can't wait to get stuck in to the chicken madras. Have a look at it. It may not look all exciting because they have got no artificial colouring in it. They've got no nothing on That is authentic chicken madras. Wow. Smells absolutely divine. Let's get this plate off the cameraman. Sorry, cameraman. You're going to have to wait for your food. Let's take a look. I'm going to put that in here. Get a dollar for that. One more. Yes. Now, the garlic naan, a reasonable size garlic naan. Prices, menu, the location, how to get to this place, I'll be dropping down in the description box. Nice soft naan. 
This is it. This is what I've been waiting for. The 1970s chicken madras. Get a look at that. I just want to say to all the curry munchers out there, for all of you delightful people out there watching the channel who like their curries, you will not try a chicken, you will not try a better chicken madras than that. If you want authentic chicken madras, this is it. Wow. There's a little chili in here as well. We're going to put that in. The naan as well, special mention. Nice soft naan. Really strong garlic flavour coming through as well. Let's try the sauce. them herbs and them spices together with all the sauces of that chicken oh mate the seasoning on it the, the, the salts the spices the chicken everything i can almost i almost feel as though i'm in some sort of tandoori in india in delhi in the 1970s feasting on it it has got a bit of a kick on i can feel that spice coming on as i'm talking so i did say medium it is medium but i still got that bit of a kick on it We did have some more pop doms as well. We tried the pop doms as we waited for the food, guys. They were fantastic. Let's take a quick bite of this rice. This sweet rice. Exceptional. Quick rundown. We started off with the chicken tikka. Fantastic. Nice, big, thick piece of the chicken. Not your normal small cubes and like you said everything is authentic there's no artificial colorings everything's authentic that for me was absolutely amazing and then we went on to the papa tuk tuk also a nice big portion of the chicken puri was nice and fresh went well with that chicken worked wonders but for me guys the star of the show the main attraction has been the 70s chicken madras absolutely amazing it's the sort of chicken madras that my father would have had in the 60s when he came over he came over in 59 1960 so 63 their father came this is the kind of chicken curry that all the elders would have got stuck into so now it's your turn to try out this 70s curry guys get yourself down these guys are on nine mary street in sunland uh leaving these guys with a score it's going to be a very very respectable 9.4 fantastic it really really was that good 9.4 what can i say guys if you like the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe only one more thing left to say to you, you guys at home thousands of you watching across the world you guys have all officially been food troll certified and me and my 1970s chicken madras i'm a glass of lemonade we'll see you guys all for the next one